Welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode, we're looking at Topaz Studio 2. Today, I wanted to show you how to bring presets that you really enjoyed using that were inside of the original Topaz Studio, that would be Topaz Studio 1, and migrate them into Topaz Studio 2. And the second thing I want to do is show you how to take your very own textures that you really enjoy using and bring those on into Topaz Studio 2 so you can use the excellent texture filter in Topaz Studio 2. So without further ado, let's get started. All of the presets that you enjoyed using in Topaz Studio 1 can be migrated into Topaz Studio 2. And also the presets that you've made on the filters, those can be migrated in as well. And you can also uh, bring in uh, public uh, presets that, that you really enjoyed using as well into Topaz Studio 2. Uh, it's real easy to do. All you need to do is come up here to help and come down to Migrate Custom TS1 Presets. Click on that. And then you have three options here. You can migrate your own created presets. You can migrate custom filter presets. And you can migrate favorite presets. And let me show you how I would do this. The first two categories here will automatically come in if you check them. Like if you click uh, Migrate Creative Presets and you click on Migrate Custom Filter Presets, they'll automatically come in for you. So you don't have to do anything but check that off. Okay, but the Migrate Favorite Presets, that's a little different story. Now we're talking about Favorite Presets. Now, when Topaz Studio originally came out, Topaz gave us a whole bunch of presets and it was awesome. And so we want to bring those presets into Topaz Studio too. I'm going to show you how to do that. And you can also bring in presets that were public presets that you really enjoyed. And if you enjoyed those and you had those favorited by clicking the little heart icon, and I'll show you how to do that here in a second, they will automatically come in. But first thing you want to do is come up here to where it says all in the left hand side of the interface and where the presets are, click all. And then right now it says it's sorted by feature. So click this drop down and make sure you click A to Z. This way you're going to get all the presets that Topaz has given us. Okay. And I also recommend to click this icon here where it says small. Give that a click so you can see more presets at once on the screen here. All right. Now, notice here at the bottom on the left hand side of the preset interface, it says one of 16. When you see one of 16, that will mean that you're in the public presets, okay? So if you want to bring in the original Topaz presets, you need to come up here where it says public and click that. And now it'll say page one of three and public will no longer be highlighted. See how it highlights here when I hover over it? It's gray. So when it's gray, you're in the original Topaz presets. So what you need to do, and I've already done it, see the little blue hearts here? I'm going to click this blue heart here and it just becomes an open heart. So when you click it, it turns blue and that becomes a favorite. So what you need to do is go down through all of these presets and you have to click these hearts. It takes you a while because I don't know of a way where you can select them all at once. And there's a bunch of them. So come the whole way down, get them all. Then you need to go to pay the next page. So you're on page one of three. So go to the next page and go through and check them all again and make sure you keep sliding down through here and get in each and every one of them. After you get those all selected, go to the next and do the same thing. You have to click them all. And like I said, if you're on public and you've already favorited those presets, when you go to migrate over, they will automatically go in. But if you wanted to say, hey, I want each and every preset I can get, you'd have to go through 16 pages and check the hearts on each and every one of these, each and every one of these uh, presets. So probably something you probably don't want to do unless you really enjoyed the uh, public preset. Okay, and there's a lot of good ones in there too. But again, if you had them already favorited, they will come over. I don't think this next step I'm going to give you is important, but I would do it anyway, just in case. Uh, I would, we're in Topaz Studio 1 now, so I would come up to Topaz Studio up in the menu here and just quit it. And the reason I say that is because if Topaz Studio has to write that information onto a file, it probably won't happen until you close it. I don't think that's the case, but if it is, it's a good precaution. So it probably doesn't matter, but to be in the safe side, do that. Okay. And then come back to Topaz Studio one, or um, excuse me, I'm getting confused. Come back to Topaz Studio two. 
and make sure you're in the help section here and go to migrate custom TS1 presets. And uh, if you want to bring in your own creative presets, check that off and your custom filter presets, check that. And now the migrate favorite presets, check that. We were just in Topaz Studio One and we favorited everything. So now if we click OK, all those presets will come into Topaz Studio Two and you can start using them. Now that we've migrated our presets over from Topaz Studio One to Topaz Studio Two, now we can start using them. To use the uh, filter presets, you would just click on Add Filter, choose any filter you want right here. And if you brought over a preset, a filter preset from Topaz Studio One, it'll live with that particular filter. So for instance, if I clicked on Precision Detail here, came down to Presets, of course, we have all the presets from Topaz Studio 2 in here, but if you had one that you brought over from Topaz Studio 1, it'll live in here as well. And to get rid of the preset uh, display here, just click on Presets and that goes away. So that's how simple it is with the presets that you migrated over. And let's just uh, go ahead and delete this precision detail because we're not going to use it. Next, uh, the uh, preset looks that we brought over from Topaz Studio One, we're going to find those under Add Look, so we just click on Add Look. And we have two, two sections here. We have Look Category and Sort By. So let's look at Look Category first. Here's a drop-down menu here, so click that. And inside here you have all favorites, recently used My Looks, Abstract, so on and so forth here. But all the presets that you brought over from Topaz Studio One, as well as the looks you created yourself inside of Topaz Studio Two, they're all going to live nicely together under My Looks. So click on My Looks, and all those presets from Topaz Studio One and the and your looks that you create in Topaz Studio Two all live inside of here. But you can also drill down by by the sort by section here. And click this drop down. You can drill down by abstraction, AI remix, and these different uh, different types here. Okay. If you just wanted the impression looks, just click on impression. Okay. So we're under my looks and, and we're in impression. So these are all the impression looks here. And you'll notice any, any, uh, look that you brought over is going to say TS1 on it. So that's kind of nice. So you can tell that was one that was brought over and that's just how easy it is to use the looks. Now, next I'm going to show you how to migrate into Topaz Studio to your own textures because you might have a bunch of textures that you purchased or made yourself and you want to use those inside of Topaz Studio 2 with the texture filter which is a great filter and we've already went over that so let me show you how to migrate those in. Here's how you add your own textures into Topaz Studio 2. So come up to add filter and then come down to texture and then you want to look for this icon right here. And this is the Open Texture Category Manager. Click on that and that brings you here. Now all you have to do is come and um, click on Add Category and give that category a name. I want to import some textures that I purchased from a company called Flypaper Textures. And uh, these particular textures are from a from a group called Fly Edges. So I'm going to come to the Enter Category name and just type in Fly Edges. And then click OK. Now the next thing I need to do is import the uh, textures into this Fly Edges category. By the way, you can choose any of these categories. If you have textures that are Boca textures, you can just click on Boca and import Boca textures into there. But in my case, these are particular textures that I want to keep track of from this uh, flypaper texture company called Fly Edges, and they're nice border type textures. So I'll recognize them by the name Fly Edges. So I'll click on Import Texture. That'll open up my Finder window here. In Windows, it'll be different, but you know how to in how to install things because you do it all the time, right? Anyway. So I'm going to click on this particular drive right here because I know that's where my textures live and I know they live under picture set one. So I'm just looking for textures and they are right here. Okay, so right here textures. And here are my fly edges right here. So make sure you open up whatever file folder that you want. Mine's already open. So what I do is click on the first uh, texture right here the first file and shift click the last file and that selects them all and then I just click on open. Now it takes a little bit of time, it has to copy these over and make thumbnails. So 
It could take up to a minute to put them in here, but this will happen under a minute. As you can see, the progress is coming along nicely right here. No errors so far, so that's good news. There's 33 of these uh, fly edge textures that are coming in. And so we'll just wait patiently. We're almost done. Coming near the end right now. We're on the last one. And here it says successfully imported 33 textures. I click OK. Then all I need to do is click on close. And now when I come over here, right now group is on all. If it wasn't on all, make sure it's on also. You can see all your different categories here. So come to category and right now it's on all as well. So I'm going to click that and now I'm going to look for fly edges right here. Click it and there are all my fly edge textures. And the nice thing is the names of the texture files come in with it too. So that's nice. So let's just click on fly edges 18 right here and it adds it and I'm going to change the uh, blend mode to a blend mode that would look better which maybe multiply would look good let's try overlay or soft light overlay or soft lights nice but I think I like multiply the best so I'm gonna click on multiply and that's how easy it is to bring your textures in and again just come to this little icon here give it a click uh, click add category name it or if you want to put it in one of these pre-existing categories just click on the category like nature click import texture and your your window will come up uh, for your file management and just find the actual place where that texture is and bring them on in select them and bring them in and that's it so that's how you uh, migrate your textures into topaz studio 2. Now you know how to bring presets from Topaz Studio 1 into Topaz Studio 2. You know how to bring your own textures that you may have purchased or made yourself into Topaz Studio 2. So that should really help you out a lot. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so and click that bell notification icon. This way, every time I put up a new video, you'll be informed of when that happens. Thank you so much for joining me today in the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly, and I'll see each and every one right here next time.